I'm Brandon Syme. We got Bumps in the Night. And uh, tonight we're reviewing the best Goose Balls book ever created Chicken Chicken. Shut up, your opinion is false if you think it's bad. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> and we, we don't have Josh Wasaki because he is Wait, no, having no, an anime no. bench. Josh Wasaki couldn't be here because Colonel Sanders beat the finger looking fuck out of him. <laughs> Ah, for yes. trying to reveal the secret recipe. <laughs> 53! Oh, so Book 53, Arnold Stein, what the fuck were you doing? Hey, he, he had Ghost Rider, so shut. Alright, so, this chicken in my head's almost cooked, so let's get to it. Um, break down the book, Brandon, and then Josh will carry us with his articulate choices here, because uh, he's the most important member of this entire podcast, Jane Alright. So there's this lady in a town named Goshen Falls named Vanessa. And Vanessa is a witch. But, like, no one knows that because they're poo-poo brain. Pretty much, these two kids go to grocery shop. They're walking home. I can't remember anymore. They walk home, and they see Vanessa, and they're like, Oh, we can help you carry groceries. And then they just say, Hey, get that shit out of my face. She's like, Hey... Chick, chicken and chicken. Funny thing. I'm gonna stop There's you there. Chicken. Yeah, she was grocery shopping. They were just walking home, tossing an egg back and forth with their best friend, Anthony. They live on I a chicken farm. You know, you gotta throw that in. They live on a chicken farm, and Vanessa is a, apparently a witch. That is stated, like, in the book. Yeah. And then they turn into chickens, and they get eaten by Colonel Sanders. Thank you for my watching my review. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Five stars. Chicken, chicken called. All right. Irby, would you like to actually break down a little bit of this book since uh, Brandon gave us the Hot Wheels edition of it? Yeah, of course. The Hot Wheels is the best version. All right. Since I'm designated the guy who's not allowed to shit post my way through this entire podcast, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's just make one clear is this book as bad as its reputation the answer is no yeah yeah no, no you're wrong the chicken chicken cult will reign supreme i Why? honestly didn't I hate it it's my turn to talk yeah for real anyways, shut the Brandon, shut so, fuck up okay. let's break this down honestly <laughs> first off the mere beginning of the premise is Okay, look, uh, you see all these Goosebumps books such as, I'm gonna list off, You Can't Scare Me, Goy Worms, Calling All Creeps, uh, I to some extent, Attack of the jack Lanterns that deal with a plot of retribution and revenge. The main character is someone's being a flat-out ass, and they get their comeuppance. This book... First off, let's make one thing clear. People are going to say, like, the chicken, the fact that they're turning the chicken is the biggest problem. It really isn't. I mean, I think a body horror book could actually manage to be good. But they deserve to be punished and borderline child abused because of the fact that they kind of have bad manners. Middle schoolers are assholes. We all have bad manners. You're right. Jesus, I don't. I actually never did, so shush. You were interrupting me. Clearly, you still have bad manners. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The last podcast I just edited, I cut out six of your burps. This was Brandon. All right, tonight we're going to talk about this book. Or, <laughs> well, you see, I had combustion that day. <laughs> you know what? You play ear rape. You have no manners. I have quality content. You'd be a fucking chicken. Let's put it like that. I am a chicken, so... Before this podcast turns into 4chan, uh, <laughs> get back to things. Uh, that's one of the two biggest problems with this book. Oh, but the other one is overabundance of plot conveniences. What do I mean? Yeah. Oh, as they're growing in the chickens and their bodies are being mutilated, their parents conveniently just couldn't look... Uh, conveniently they get out of the basketball game. There are so many plot conveniences, and the weird part is this isn't even like a cash cow book, like a Monster Blood 3 or 4. 3 is bad, 
shut up my second. But anyway, <laughs> uh, but this book wasn't even Arnold Stein trying to cash in. He just flat out had a terrible book. He just didn't have his stuff because this book is so bad. I mean, hey, here's the thing: you gotta you gotta size up. Is the treatment of these kids warranted for what the book is? No. No. I mean, bad manners, yeah. And not only that, but the twist makes me just cringe. Like, they... Pig, pig. This woman almost got them murdered multiple times, laughed in their faces, they apologized and begged for forgiveness. And, oh, yeah, I'm just going to have a soda with her and... Is this this is at the very least the worst book in the series that is not a sequel? I think it's got that on lock. Damn, it's just uh, it's just bad. All right. So believe it or not, I actually just read this because I kind of forgot to read it. So I powered through it. I didn't hate it as much as you did, but I agree there was a lot of a. Oh, that's convenient. Or, oh, wow. What do you know? Like, coincidence. Like, you know, was I reading a kid's book or, like, the script to a bad porno? Because everything just kind of fell into place. Um, right. It was just... It was fucking cheese, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Like, And then yeah. the twist ending, like, really... Uh, uh, and again, yeah, why would you have a soda with some asshole who just fucking anamorphed you? Like, was this R.L. Stein's attempt at writing an anamorph book? Probably. Cause like Cause we I all mean, know why I'm at the same time. I, yeah. Why I'm afraid of bees is like a shitty shot at uh, the fly, but this, I think uh, this was his crack at animorphs. He's like, yo, Scholastic, fuck animorphs, chicken, chicken. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't like it. I mean, I didn't hate it, but it's not like you know a classic. It doesn't slap like Dead House. It, it's. Well, I'm not going to say I hate it either. I don't hate any of the original books. I just flat out think this one is horrendous. I'm, I'm going to be flat out honest. Let's like, hear it, Chicken Chicken first, Cult. When, when, when I first read the book, I actually, going to be honest, read about 25 pages and I put it down. I didn't touch it for two and a half years. I picked it up again. I read the book and I said... That was an experience that I never want to have again. If, well, this, if the book were an NFL quarterback, 100 yards, zero touchdowns, five interceptions, 35% completion. I don't know NFL, so I don't understand a word you just said. It's, it's ass. Let's just keep it simple. Like, flat out, this book isn't a cash cow. I can tell Arl Stein was trying to make a good book. He just flat out for this book. For one month, he just wow sucked. He just Wait, said, hey, didn't he write like, a book every two weeks? Quali- hey, let's just take a break on the quality real quick. Let's just put some shit posting on. Okay. Uh, it's just... He tried. Again, not every story is going to be the best. And granted, with an entire series as big as Goosebumps, you're going to have some belly flops. Did it have some strong points? Sure. A few. The body horror aspect was actually kind of... Opinion-wise, I'd say it's... I don't know. I almost want to say I liked it a little bit better than Be Careful What You Wish For, personally. And, I don't know, there's just some of the goosebumps, and maybe I'm being biased here. If it doesn't really have a monster, I'm not super into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess for me, and this is just a preference here... Books that don't really have, like, monsters, like, uh, You Can't Scare Me was kind of weak because, again, my monsters weren't the plot point. Give What You Wish For was kind of weak because, again, it was fucking, oh, wishes. And I don't know, this one's kind of weak, too. Well, the biggest reason this one's weak is any of the Goosebumps that have lessons have to answer the question, why are we even here sufficiently? And this book just plowed. It doesn't do it. It went backwards. It just, it just felt like it was this, like, angry like edgy woman who's mad that kids have bad manners like fuck the kids yeah and uh it was just felt like this continuous cycle and uh, oh man this book was dumb 
It was. Uh, it was. It was. It was bad. All right, Brandon. Give us your honest opinion. I actually thought it was a turd. Oh. To be honest. Okay. I don't think it's. I don't think it's like too terrible. Like Monster Blood Four. Like that book, I didn't even finish as a kid because I was like, "This is stupid." <laughs> But Ios, that's because if you know that's that's, that's, for, that's for a different episode. But still, <laughs> it, 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 that's for a different episode, but still, I mean, the flu fly. I'm honest. Monster blood, even in monster blood, it's just the ooze. Joseph Street. That's it. Yeah, yeah. The ooze is just a different color, but it's monster blood. It's all the same shit. You know what? I yeah. think honestly, growing up, Stein was really influenced by the Blob. It's probably like his favorite yeah. fucking horror movie from the '50s. Hence, why he kept making the Blob esque monsters. Monster Blood, the ooze, the blob that did everything. I'm sure there's another one. Anyway, we're off topic. Yeah, see? He Thanks likes gelatinous me. creatures that eat people. Let's get skedaddle on the ratings. Uh, I'll start. I mean, the thing is, I think the goosebumps eat animals and, like, a body mutation. I think that's at least giving it, like, a saving grace. And I actually don't think chickens is as terrible a choice as some people do. It's out there, but I've heard worse. But based on everything else, I'm not going to be nice. I'm going to give this book a 1 out of 10. Wow! Everyone's got to have one. That's his. Brandon? I'll meet Josh there, too, with a 1. Hot damn. I'm going to give it a 4. So that's okay. That's where. Out of 10... It's got a fucking well, F. Re- well, get, well, soldiers, rest in peace to Chicken Chicken, Colt. Uh, uh, we are dead now. Jo- you know what? Actually, I'm glad why Saki wasn't here because he would have rated it a one as well, so. I mean, I can get people saying it's not the very worst Goosebumps book. I don't think it's the very worst either. It's got one or two things that are salvageable about it. It's just, there's very few of those, and its misses are just bad. Monumental? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like, even there's even worse Goosebumps books that aren't even in the original 62. Like, there's some turds out there. True. Yeah, I mean, Arl Stein, here's the thing. He's bound to be a bit inconsistent, because let's be honest, he released a book annually. Arl Stein is the call of duty of kids' writers. I'm dead. Exactly, like, yeah, he's sitting there with a machine gun. <laughs> Which means it's either it could be great, or it could just flat trip. And this book was no. Okay. <laughs> um so fun fact, the original print of Chicken Chicken, like the first printing, they flipped the art. So Jacobus' yeah, signature was backwards. Yeah, I noticed that. Um but when they reprinted it in the newer series, like the colorful splat ones, they refixed the oh, art to the original. The ones I put. <laughs> I collect you know, them too. It's hilarious and almost be so jarred that I like it if it weren't for the fact that the stupid lightning was in the background. I actually thought the lightning, like, what's the point of it being there? I don't know. <laughs> it's to add fear. <laughs> I don't know. We talked about this before, though, how sometimes the covers are more misleading than anything, you know? Oh, God. J- yeah. Jacobus does that. He'll tease you with a really fucking sick piece of art, and it's just like. Oh. I so mean. I- uh, don't go to sleep cover like that didn't even happen yeah so that pissed cool. me off that's a whole other conversation so while we're at it whose oh. pick is next uh, Brandon you just matter. picked chicken chicken so I feel like it's my turn next that's fine go ahead I, we don't have a rotation I just do we just do whatever all right let's make a choice here we're gonna we're, we're gonna review either don't go to sleep or the horror camp jelly jam horror camp jelly jam um, gotta be honest, I kind of wanted to take a crack at the horror of Camp Jelly Jam. Jelly Jam it is, then. Next book will be oh, Jelly Jam. We do another time, but let's take a crack at Camp Jelly Jam. Yeah. yeah. That's a book I actually really like. Okay, do we have any closing statements? So, everywhere, yes, we had a release on Halloween. Yeah. Uh, not that I'm not releasing anything, it's just I've been helping someone raise money for a funeral recently, and uh, I've been setting up this... uh this uh desk and work setup for work from home and i admittedly the last few weeks have been a bit occupied with all that and of course the election we are not getting into politics the only important political issue is that pineapple doesn't go on pizza (gasps) 
Either sorry, boy. Sad as you're be. More to come later, and if we have to go to another shelter <laughs> home, no problemo. Two episodes have been filmed. You'll be seeing more of me soon. If I don't bury my head playing Switch all day, just kidding. You'll see me soon. Yeah, Brandon. Uh, so I have a Smash Brothers tournament I'm going to be doing for my birthday, because uh, my birthday is December 17th, and I'm turning 17. So I thought, why not do something special for once? I might play. Let's go. And uh, I haven't told anyone until now, but uh, I'm going to do a Thanksgiving special, and it's going to be me reviewing all three of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a Thanksgiving special right there. Okay. Um, I've been very lazy. I have literally not done anything for the channel. I've been moving Horror Burrito stuff to the Horror Burrito. I have been moving my family films off of my channel to Debro's Films, trying to convert bumps in the night to actual horror so i've been lazy i've got six stories that i'm halfway written and i have not fucking done anything i'm playing video I games mean, this isn't lazy man that's something i know i just it's like i needed a break the horror burrito took up so much time we're on hiatus right now but we do have a christmas episode coming up don't forget brandon home alone i won't forget home alone december 12th i love that movie i love that shameless movie. plug so cool. Look forward remember, to more of my editing on Josh Wasaki's channel because, uh, let's face it. Remember, Jay, I'm also his editor, even though it barely seems like I'm not anymore, so there we go. Dude, I've just had a busy month, just flat out. I've, I've been busy and whatnot. Uh, also, it's alive! It wants my chicken! It wants my chicken! <laughs> okay, then. This has been That One Goosebumps Podcast. Subscribe to Brandon or he's going to go and he's going to literally stab a hamster in the throat with a spork. Yep. <laughs>